Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. up and running in no time. Then I guess all we're looking for is, you know, doctors, nurses and medicine. Well, hopefully those who haven't been scared off by the insurgents will come back once we get it rebuilt. <laughs> You'd want to hope. Yeah. This intercom system is so old, they might as well stick up a wire between two coconuts. Yeah, well, if it's got you stumped, right? It hasn't got me stumped. Just... Get the power on. Cold drink? <laughs> yeah, right. New pet is exactly what I don't need. It's just water. Yeah, it's full of giardia. And other nasty little parasites that want to set up home in my intestinal tract. No, thank you very much. Bro. Take no notice of Rose or I. He's, uh, he's a little bit different. Now, how do you say water in pigeon? Water. Water. Too easy. Here you go. Oh, I kept you. Water? Oh, I'd love water. You'll be sorry. Sorry, how do you say you are very pretty? Did he? Uh, you, you two must nice speller. You two must nice speller. You two must nice speller. I've spoken like a native. Will you stop it? Oh, I'm just being friendly. You do. You don't know how to be just friendly. Oh, that sounds like you're a bit jealous. We'll get back to work. OK, well, it's all done. Ready to go. You want to do the honours? Um, no, it might blow up. Oh, it might. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have power, people! Tampa Island, Charlie Oscar out. 
Obviously, the insurgents have renewed their operations on this island. Against their own people. Why would they do that? Because they accepted our help. What's the casualty situation, Swain? Sir, the crew are all fine. Uh, a dozen of the villagers need emergency hospital treatment. Uh, another 20 or so with superficial injuries. The hospital on Tampu Island's been put on standby. We're sitting ducks here. So let's get this evacuation completed as soon as we can. Sir. Lieutenant Commander. It's good to see you. Captain, what's going on? Oh, everything's fine, mate. There's my girl, Kate. You look beautiful. <laughs> So I haven't called. I've been a bit busy. Well, I understand, Captain. I asked you a question, Captain. The insurgents have established a base on the south end of the island. Now, the jungle's impenetrable by vehicle. They're too slow by foot, so what we need to do is borrow one of your ribs so we can give them a surprise attack. Oh, well, that's out of the question. As you can see, we're in the middle of an evacuation here. Lives come first. So the Hammersley can take what? 100? 120? Our lifeboat capacity limits us to 150. 150. That's only about half this village. You've seen what a small raiding party with a mortar can do. Once you've gone, it's going to be carnage, unless we stop it first. And to do that, I need one rib. Lieutenant Commander. Yeah, I heard you, Captain. Charge! Once this mess is over... Now there'll be another mess. Yeah, probably. Here. Yeah. I've been practising what you taught me. Mate, store all skewer. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, if they're having a barbecue, then maybe, but uh, since they're stowing gear into the rib, my guess would be make sure all is secure. Yeah, that makes more sense. Context often gives us content. Mate, do what we're told. It sucks. <laughs> or something like that. No, I reckon you got that one spot on. I'm impressed. Lip reading, it's not that hard. It's a very useful one, all you've got is a visual. So we're good to go? Uh, thank you, Sergeant. Uh, store all skewer. Sir? We'll carry on. Sir? For yours. Be safe, After yeah? the drop off, rendezvous with us on route to Tampa. Yes, boss. Be careful, Buff. Aye, right, sir. You didn't have a choice, sir. I know that, X. Before we board Hammersley, we need to talk. You to my nice fella. <laughs> Sorry? Zariah. Hey, T. Yep. Hey, T. Last rib's about to leave. All right, we're coming, we're coming. I will talk later. You mad? Hey, man! What the like you, man? Hey, you leave me with war. All right, easy. What's his problem? Men. Our island, you go home. They killed my people. All right, you're safe with us, all right? Yeah, men, you go home, yeah. Except they've got big rusty machetes and we've got nothing. Like yeah, you're right. Let's get out of here. We're leaving. We're leaving. You, you, yeah. We're going, we're going. All right, boys, go, come on. Easy, easy. Ease it off, ease it off. You, hey, come on. Ease it off. Yeah, you, come on, yeah. Excuse me, ma'am. Just uh, for you. Thank you. Thank you. Boys, you thirsty? She's here as a translator, and she knows these people. Zariah? 
Hey. Booger Mr. Smooth is going in for his move. I think I might have, I've given you, I've given you the wrong idea. Um, sorry. Out in the open on the quarter deck, the guy's shameless. Bro, you're needed on the bridge. Who said? I do. Go. I, I know. I thought you liked me. I do, I do. But not, not like that, I... Zarai, you're a, you're a great girl. Careful, Zarai. E.T. here's got a girl in every port. <laughs> Zarai, no, no, no. What did you do that for? Sir, the uh, last of the evacuees are about to disembark. Very good, X. Yeah, right, no, just one more. Buff. This way, sir. Be careful. Bye. You seen Zara? No, last time I saw her, she was with you. Buff. You seen Zara? No, mate. She gone? Look. Nikki, I was only ever trying to be friendly. Well, I'm sure she'll get over you. Well, it's funny, you know, because I thought there was meant to be solidarity amongst the system. Listen up, team. We've just received a signal from Coalition headquarters. Captain Ross' patrol has been ambushed and sustained casualties. We're the closest asset. Charge as soon as we recover the sea boat. We'll be heading to their assistance. Let's Sir. go. Sir, these casualties? We don't have any details. We don't know how bad. The captain has a ship. Zulu Alpha Yankee, this is Papa 82. Come in over. Zulu Alpha Yankee, this is Papa 82. Radio check over. Are they shooting at us? This is Zulu Alpha Yankee. Okay, I got him. We've been down and taken enemy fire from an area near the rocky outcrop on top of the hill. Lock onto those muzzle flares, Spider. Aye, right, sir. They've got a machine gun there, so we can't return fire on it. They're zeroing in on our position. We need help now. Over. Typhoon, Type aim at target. Can you read me. Situation critical. Over. Typhoon, engage. Firing. Target destroyed, sir. Nice shooting, Navy. What was that? Zulu Alpha Yankee, this is Papa 82. Come in, over. Zulu Alpha Yankee, this is Papa 82. Come in, over. Oh, God. Zulu Alpha Yankee, this is Papa 82. Do you copy, over? Zulu Alpha Yankee, this is Papa 82. Come in, over. Zulu Alpha Yankee, this is Papa 82. Radio check, over. It's been five minutes since our last contact. What? Well, in case anyone was wondering. Papa A2, this is Zulu Alpha Yankee. We took a grenade. The team leader is down. We need urgent casualty back. Need urgent casualty back. Yes. Over. With this tide, the nearest possible landing is what is Sambong Wharf, sir. Tell them to head for Sambong X. We'll send an extraction team to meet them on the way. Aye, sir. Zulu Alpha Yankee, this is Papa A2. Head for Sambong Wharf. Over. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Permission to lead the extraction team? Sorry, X. I need you here. But as senior officer, I feel it's my place. I need you here. The boarding party is mine, sir. This is way beyond our training. I can't ask anyone to lead this, so I'm doing it myself. Sir? I'm leaving you in command. The ship's yours, X. Buffer, yes. I'm leading the SAS extraction team. Well, what have we got? Here's Sambon Wharf. The SAS will be following this route here. We've arranged for a vehicle. We'll travel to about here, then the rest of the way we're on foot. We find them, get them back here ASAP. How hard could that be? All right, from here on we walk. ET, what's the latest on the SAS? We're making slow progress, but still on track, sir. Good, let's go. Who's got the machetes? Uh, we're Navy, sir. All right. 
Stay close. Keep your eyes open. Echo 2, this is Papa 2, six, over. Papa Ray 2, say again, I didn't read you over. What's wrong? I don't know, boss. Could be just the topography, could be the hardware. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. All right, hold on. I think my leg's stuck. <coughs> Give me a hand. <laughs> Stop! Don't move. Buffer. Spider. Don't move an inch. What? Grenade. Echo 82, this is Papa 82. Over. What are we gonna do now? We try again. Echo 82, this is Papa 82. Just stay calm, Spider. We'll have you out of here as soon as we can. Pretty calm, sir. Just a bit uncomfortable. How do you expect me to find you a pillow out here, mate? <laughs> F1 grenade. I see three of them on the wire. Reckon that's plenty, sir. What do you know about these, Buffer? They go bang. You don't want to be around when they do. Roger. <laughs> this is Romeo 82. Can you read me? Any luck, ET? Still dead, sir. All right, Buffer, I want you to... Release your grip on Spider. Get back up there with ET and take cover. Sir? That's an order buffer. Buff, I got the tree. Buffer, that's an order. Sir, you need to concentrate on disarming the grenades. I've got a really good hold on him and I'm not leaving. You got room for one more there, sir? ET? I'm not hanging around up there to pick up the pieces, sir. All right. But if we all get blown up, you two are on build scrubbing duties for a month. Traveling spider. Legs are a bit numb, sir. Now we know what we're doing. These next two won't take as long. Don't worry, sir. I've got a good grip on him. He's not going anywhere. Damn it. Okay, try again. Nearly there. That's number two safe. Last one. Spider, what is it? No, I cramp on my leg. Keep still. Spider, keep still. I can't. Mum, I can't. I can't stay Keep still. Keep still. Mum, I can't. It hurts. Keep still. Don't. Go, go, go. Everyone okay? Yeah. Spider? Tell everyone you're here, why don't you? How are they? Captain's got a head injury. He's got a gunshot wound. You're gonna be okay, Jim. Lost two others, had to leave then. ET! We've got to move before this place is storming with hostiles. Let's go. You can radio hammers when we get back to the truck. We're sending ribs for your wounded, over. Yeah, roger that, Papa Ray 2. One of the wounded is now deceased, over. Roger, out. Let's go, 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 go! Papa Ray 2, boss wants us to know that Captain Roth 
Everybody's conscious, over. Copy that, Echo 8-2. It's good news, over. Oh, wait here. You get these men down to the red. Come back and get us. Right, sir. Commander Flynn has been critically injured. He requires an immediate medevac. Oh, I'm sorry, Exford. Samara has gone to hell in a handbasket. Insurgents have launched a major offensive against the capital, and all resources are committed to a full-scale evacuation. So, if he doesn't get to a hospital ASAP, he could die. There is no available helicopter. Sir, this is a matter. You know, if I could get in a chopper, I'd come and get him myself. Just get him to HMAS Melbourne. It's his only hope. Yes, sir. I'll notify Fleet Command. Until further notice, you are the CO of Hammersley. Godspeed, Kate. OK, Nev, I want you to plot a course to the HMAS Melbourne, the fastest course. Yes, ma'am. Ro, I want you to get the doctor from the Melbourne online. He can advise Swain. Yes, ma'am. Nev, you have the ship? I have the ship, ma'am. Uh, down here. Down. We're going to need uh, field dressings, lots of them. And can we clear some space here, please? We need room to work. All of you back to work. If you want to help the boss, then Swain and Bomber Jenny Club. Swain, I'll be on the bridge. Yes, We've got the senior medical officer from HMAS Melbourne. Thank you. Uh, this is Petty Officer Cox and Chris Blake on HMAS Hammersley. Over. Swain, this is Dr. Hennessy. What is the status of your patients? Sir, I have two patients. Uh, one with a shrapnel wound to the left leg. Uh, he's lost a lot of blood. The other with uh, a wound to the head and a oh. loss of consciousness. Now, check that for us, will you? I'm going to cut down through here. So get ready to raise the, the bandages, OK? And raise the pressure. Uh, oh, God. OK, and in there. Spray, do you consider Commander Flynn's blood loss to be critical? Yes, sir, there's a lot of blood. He's lost a lot of blood. Mace Melbourne said it was safer if we leave the shrapnel in. He says if we try and remove it, he could bleed out. So, there's really nothing more we can do here. Yeah. We'll rendezvous with the Melbourne in just over an hour, so, uh, you're gonna get yourself a cup of tea, Swain? No, I'm right, ma'am. Please. Go get yourself a brew. Hi, ma'am, um, Captain Roth, he's suffered a concussion and he's going to need a scan when we get home, but he's going to be OK. Thank you, Swain.
Hey. What happened? Are you in a white tongue? My love. I take it this isn't heaven. No. Where are my men? They're resting, which is what you should be doing. Jim, three of your men, they didn't make it. I'm so sorry. How did he? Saving you. Be okay. I hope so. You, uh, you really need to take it easy. You've got a head injury. I need to be with my man. Zariah harassed by insurgents after the mortar attack on the clinic? Uh, yeah. Why? Did she tell you that they killed her family? She said they killed her people. Her mother, brother and father? No, she didn't, she didn't say that. Did you tell her that she'd be safe with you? With, with us. Uh, um, it's with us. And did you kiss her? What? Did you? Oh, okay, look, Nikki, look, after, after the mortar attack happened... Take you, that as a yes. She kissed me and I tried to explain... I did, Nikki. I, well, I, you I, obviously did a terrific job. Okay. Soraya, why didn't you get off a tamper? Tampo is not safe. No, it is safe. No. Bad men are everywhere. Oh, you're not going to get an argument from me on that one. You have to tell the ex. What? Me? She's only here because of you. But no one's got the best medical facilities in the fleet. You'll be okay. I'll keep an eye on him. Where are you going? We're swapping ships. Not sure what they want us to do yet. They've been to moving so quickly. So I guess this is goodbye for a while. Right, you uh, look after yourself. You too. Fleet Command confirmed you were CO. Acting CO. This is still Mike Flynn's ship. To vote of confidence. Congratulations. It's not exactly how I imagined getting my first command. Life really works out how we imagine. Oh, man. I'm set to go. Okay, how is he? Same. Two, three, Nick. Yes, ma'am. Um, we have a passenger. Soraya, I am aware that you helped us with the evacuation, and for that, we are very grateful. But stowing away aboard an Australian warship is a very serious matter. 
And until we decide what's to be done, I'm confining you to guest quarters. You understand? Yes. I'm... I'm sorry. Baba, you take it to us, dear. Ma'am, can we... A.T., you heard the boss. This way, ma'am. A.T., tell me that you did nothing to encourage her in any way to stow away aboard this ship. I didn't. Look, she says her family were victims of the insurgents. She, she is scared for her life. Okay, did she tell you this before or after she stowed away? She told me after, ma'am. Right, I'll inform NAVCOM you get back to work. Ma'am, for what it's worth, mm. I believe her. Lieutenant, I, I don't know why you're calling me about this. I, I thought that I should keep you informed. The Australian Navy does not accede to the demands of stowaways. And seeing that you're still in Samaru and water, she will take her back to Tampu Island, post haste, and then resume your course to home. Yes, sir. And Lieutenant. Sir? As CO, you should have made the call. Yes, sir. But that's what the leadership requires, that you step up to the plate, that you make the hard decisions, that you trust yourself. Nine times out of ten, they'll be the right ones. Yes, sir. Is uh, there any word on Lieutenant Commander Flynn? Last report, he was still in surgery. Huh? A fair winds, Kate. Thank you, sir. Miss? Where are you taking me? Home, miss. Tampu? Yes, miss. That's not my home. Zariah, we are repatriating you in accordance with our legal obligations. E.T. has said that you hold fears for your safety. Yes, Mrs. Well, our intelligence reports tell us that Tampu is still free from any rebel activity and is likely to remain so. Yes, Mrs. Thank you, Mrs. My name is Kate. Yes, Mrs. Swain. Ma'am. Zariah, you're free to apply to the Australian government for refugee status if you so desire. This incident, it, it won't be held against you. By then I will be with my family, Mrs. With your family? I thought... In heaven, Mrs. This is not right. Do you think we should take everyone who puts their hands up? Or just the pretty ones? E.T. Excuse me. said this place was safe. Evidently a staffer. Papa A2, this is Sierra A2. Do you copy over? Sierra A2, this is Papa A2. You are to abort your landing and get back here. Over. Uh, that's a negative row. We also have an armed hostile in the water. We're in urgent need of assistance. Over. Ma'am? Yeah, I heard them, right. What would you like me to tell them, ma'am? Tell them to hold their position. Ma'am? Tell them to hold their position. Sierra A2, this is Papa A2. Hold your position. And I repeat, hold your position. Over. You may think I belong in Perda, brother. You give him a lot of money. What's he saying? You killed my brother. You, you pay money. Twenty thousand dollars. I think I got that. Ah, uh, ma'am, he says we killed his brother and we owe him twenty thousand dollars. Over. Sierra, to be ready to move when you see a clear path. Over. Standing by, ma'am. Over. One time me like him in Mary. What's he saying now? Is it right? He wants me. Our oh, boss. He's just added to Ryan to his wish list. Over. Boss. Well, that won't be happening. Stand by. Over. 
Australian warship. Clear your craft or we will fire upon you. I repeat, clear your craft or we will fire upon you. Rough a close up the 50 cal on the starboard side. Yes, boss. X, are you serious about firing on them? If that's what it takes. What about the rules of engagement? I am aware of our obligations, Nev, but right now my priority is to protect my crew. <laughs> what do you reckon she's going to do? No idea, but we better be ready. Tell your captain I will go with them. That way they will let you go. No! I don't think so, miss. Look him! Hurry up! What's going on? Yes, he will let you go if I go with them. Look, so are you staying here? Please tell her. Enough people have been hurt already. G3 stood to aim a target. Papar 8-2, this is Sierra 8-2. Boss, the rise offering to go with them. She says it'll defuse the situation. Seems like a pretty good solution to me. She's kind of insisting, Matt. She says she can talk her way out of trouble. Be the neatest political solution. Everyone walks away safe. Uh, put her on, Swain. Yes, ma'am. Zoraya, can you hear me? Yes, Mrs. Why are you doing this? These are my people. This is my home. Well, from what I see, they intend to harm you. I don't think so, Mrs. Soraya, I want you to answer one question for me. And I want your word that you will answer it truthfully. Understood? Uh, yes, Mrs. Did these people or did they not kill your family? The truth, Soraya, did they kill your family, yes or no? No, Mrs. They didn't. That settles that. Thank you, Zariah. Do you reckon they'll stick to their word, boss? I have no idea. Sierra A2, be ready to move, over. Ma'am, if they are not going to do her any harm, then we can insist on escorting her somewhere safe, over. That won't be necessary, E.T. Negative, ma'am, I insist. That is a negative, E.T. Ma'am, E.T.'s got a point. If you could see these guys up close and personal. She's coming with us, gentlemen. Roger there. Forgive me, Father. What? There was a prayer she said before she answered my question. I mean, you don't ask for forgiveness for telling the truth. You think she was lying? Well, they slaughtered her family, and I believe, given the chance, they'll do the same to her. This is Australian warship. Clear your craft or we will fire upon you. Repeat, clear your craft or we will fire upon you. Get ready. Buffer, I want one short burst from the 50 cal, 20 degrees right of the craft blocking our rib. 50 cal, one short burst, 20 degrees right of the craft blocking our rib. Engage. The typhoon on their leader is standing in the boat. The next shot will be aimed directly at your craft. Do you understand? Just give me one excuse and I'll blow you out of the water. Nice work, boss. C.E.T. Well, you still kissed her. I told you, she... 
you know how long it's been? I haven't even looked at another woman. Oh. Yeah, all right, so I've looked, but that's all I've done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I know how long it's been. All I'm saying is it's not natural, okay? You can't expect me to be Superman. I'll see you later. Mike's in intensive care. No, apparently everything went well, but the next 24 to 48 hours will be critical. That's good news. Yeah, it is. And they won't know if there's any permanent damage until he wakes up. So, how'd it feel? Sir? First command. It's something that I've dreamed of for years, sir. I'm not like this, eh? No. Well, Mike obviously thought you could do the job. Really? When he went with the extraction team, left you in charge. I mean, Mike wouldn't have done that unless he felt that Hammersley was in good hands. Now, regarding your uh, stowaway situation. Oh, I've sent a report about I, that, sir. I know, I read it. It's fairly unorthodox. Yeah. Mm. Had a good result. back home. I just had a CT scan. Everything's fine. Oh, that's great. Sorry I didn't call. Oh, that's okay. I understand. So, um, you're here to see Mike? Yeah. We oh, yeah, had fun, Kate. Keep in touch, eh? Um, what do you mean? When you and Mike were in the wardrobe, I wasn't asleep. I saw you. I have enormous respect for Lieutenant Commander <laughs> Flynn and... It's okay, smudge. I don't get all hung up on these fraternisation rules like you Navy guys. I wish you all the very best.